For this lesson, you will need worksheet 129. Let's go ahead and practice some of our sounds. Please write the word or the letter or letters that make the sound. Number one, uh. Number two, f. Number three, bowl. Number four, x. Number five, ya. Number six, i. Number seven, b. Number eight, a. Number nine, er. Number ten, mmm. Let's practice spelling words. Put your finger by number eleven. Spell the word cause. Put your finger by number 12. Spell the word because. Now for our lesson. Echo these words and listen for the sound that's the same. Pre-cook. Pre-heat. Pre-pay. What do you hear at the beginning of these words? Pre. What do these words have in common? The letters P R E. Can we cover the pre on these words and still have a root word? Sure. What do you think pre might be? Right. Those who remembered um, prefix is what is called before the root word. A prefix is added to the beginning of a root word to change its meaning. A suffix is added to the end of a root word to change its meaning. What do you think the prefix pre means? I'll give you a hint. Think about the word prefix. Pre means before. So what does pre-cook mean? Good job, before cooking. Let's talk about another prefix. Echo these words and listen for the sound that's the same. Dishonesty. Disable. Distrust. What is the prefix? D-I-S, dis. What do you think the prefix dis means? It means not, the opposite of, or lack of. How do we code prefixes? Good job. We box them. What should we do after boxing prefixes? Let's make sure that the root words are left. Let's take a look at the first one. Pre-cook. Take off the, the prefix and we have cook. Good. Preheat. Take off the prefix and we have heat. That is a root word. Prepay. Take off the prefix and we have the root word pay. Dishonesty. If we take off the prefix, we have the root word honesty. Disable. If we take off the prefix, we have the root word able. Distrust. If we take off the prefix, we hear the word trust. Good. Now, let's make sure that we code the rest of the word. Let's look at pre-cook. First, we have our obvious coding, k, so we need a k back on the c. Then I see a digraph, u. 
Remember, when we have a prefix or a suffix, I have to have an accent mark. I'm going to go ahead and put the accent mark on the root word. Pre-cook is now done. Let's move on to preheat. I've already boxed off my prefix, so let's look at the root word heat. I see a vowel digraph, heat. So I know that the E has a long E sound, so I'm going to put a macron and cross out the A. Also, remember, I have a multisyllable word, so my accent mark has to go on this word also. Let's look at prepay. Let's go ahead and put on our accent mark before we forget. And I see that AY is also a vowel digraph saying A. The long A says is a, for a macron, and we don't hear the Y, so we're going to cross out that Y. Let's look at dishonesty. I see a Y at the end of the word. Remember, we have to be careful to make sure that it is a suffix. If I take off the Y, I have the word honest. Is honest a word? It is a word. So I, am, I know for sure that Y here is a suffix and not to code it with a long vowel sound because I can take off the Y and still have a root word that makes sense. Say the word honest. When I say the word honest, I don't hear that H sound, so I'm going to cross that out. Now I'm going to look at my vowels. There's a lot going on in this word. So I'm just looking at this root word. Here's my vowels and my consonant. I'm going, when I write a VCV word, I have to have my line to show where my syllables split. When I have a line, I have to have an accent mark. So now let's take a look at the first syllable in the root word. This is a short, vowel sound, so I need that breathe. I am done with the first syllable in the root word, so now let's take a look at the last syllable. I have one more vowel, and that is also a short vowel sound, so I'm going to put a breathe above that. Dishonesty is a big word, but by breaking it down, we can read it a lot easier. I first have my first syllable, dis. Then I have my second syllable, on. Then I have my third syllable, est. And then my suffix, e. Dishonesty. Let's work, move on to the word disable. I already have my prefix boxed. Right away, I see ble. So I'm going to put a bracket around that. When I have a bracket, I have to have my accent mark. Also, I'm going to cross out that E because I don't hear it. Now all I have left is the vowel A. It is an open syllable word. So A is going to be a long vowel, so I need a macron. Dis-a-bull. If I had decided to put a breve above the A, it would have said dis a bull. That doesn't make sense, so we need to be sure to put that long vowel sound. Now let's take a look at the last word, distrust. Remember, it's a two-syllable word, so I have to have my accent mark, so I'm going to put that first. Also, there's no digraphs, but there's only one vowel left. Distrust, trust. The U, the vowel U, is a short vowel sound, so I'm going to put a breathe. Let's go ahead and go to back to our worksheet and 
practice our spelling prefixes. Number 13, spell the word prefix. Number 14, dismiss. Number 15, dislike. When you are done spelling your words, please code the rest of the words on the front of the page and match the words with the correct picture. On the back, use the words in the box to help you write sentences for the picture. The, please make sure that you write sentences using all of your sentence lines.